We're about to talk about some uh, moments from history. So, Trump University, in this case, one huge. Sometimes they say huge. Scam. Education is something that everyone should have the opportunity to learn or to receive an education to further their career. However, today, we look at the time Don Trump's self-titled university had actually scammed people looking for an education. Before we get into, like, say, the full details of it, um, when was this institution, like, fully developed and all that? Well, the institution had been established in 2005. However, there were flags that seemed to give off vibes that things weren't good, such as the New York Education Department had warned that it was in violation with a out a NY SPD license. I'm gonna guess that involves like say a New York um, state uh, like involving like say public education kind of uh, license like say to teach and all that. But honestly what was Trump's university? Well the concept was that the university I promised to share secrets of his real estate success, but the truth is, it was actually a multi-level marketing scam. What actually happened was, at a 90-minute seminar that the university would have, that would have knowledge of the business and access to Mr. Trump himself, students were encouraged to charge the fees to their credit cards, along with a few thousand dollars to help even the field. Meaning like say, hey, if you want to take extra courses, like say on certain things that they were offering. It wasn't until I started noticing things where they started attending these live events because I would get phone calls from students saying, well, I was taught this at this live event in New York City or in Texas or in Florida. And at that point in time, I was like, well, you can't do that. That's illegal in your state. So then I went to Michael Sexton and the owners and the, the people that were in charge. Um, and I said to them, I said, somebody needs to go and audit these live events because I think something's being taught not kosher or illegal. What were the prices to attend the classes? It would start with the three 90 minute seminar and then for three days, a $1,495 and charged $35,000 for the Trump Gold Package, which was a personal mentorship of the man himself. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. <laughs> and by the way... So, what actually happened later? Well, New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman had discovered during a course of an investigation that the mentors who involved were experienced real estate investors, but some hadn't worked in real estate. Um, and then I came up from Florida in the interviewing process, um, realized that you know in the beginning, a lot of people asked me questions about real estate transactions, real estate deals, state laws, real estate contract laws. It was pretty much easy to answer, but I felt like from my get-go, I was teaching and educating the people that actually worked there. Some of the mentors had even left after the three-day seminar, even though folks had paid thousands. Here's another real kicker, kicker though. Students didn't get the chance to actually meet him. The winning prize was to take a picture with a cardboard cutout of Mr. Trump. And in uh, 2013, the New York Attorney General had sued Trump over the university, and a court of appeals ruled the case could continue with charges intact back in February of 2016. Some former students had even sued Trump in a lawsuit. One student from California had even paid 
$1,940 for Trump's classes. Schneckenberg even cites an example of a couple he thought couldn't afford a $35,000 elite program he was supposed to sell them because of their precarious financial condition. He writes the couple would have had to pay for the program using disability income and taking out a loan based on the equity in his apartment. He refused to make the sale, he says, and was reprimanded by Trump University. Then he stood by as another salesperson talked them into buying the $35,000 seminar. I don't normally give my opinions because, you know, that that's not, this is just mostly supposed to be giving me my facts, the facts of these stories and all that. But then again, like, say the past when we've talked about, like, say the stories involving, like, you know, like, you know, Trump's businesses and all that. Like, whether it was like, oh, hey, he made a board game. Oh, I mean, yeah, they could probably hurt, like, say, some divisions of, you know, like, people who made the game. Or, um, in the casinos, yeah, they hurt local businesses. But this one... I just think this one was like, you know, mm. Just agreed to settle a lawsuit for $25 million. We talked about Trump University a lot during the campaign and how it could be a massive problem for the Trump administration. People who attended the Trump-branded school, you may remember, claimed that they were sold a bill of goods and that they were lied to. This one way over the line. Mostly because, like, I don't think you should be... Like, if someone is wanting to have the opportunity to form an education, and then you take advantage of that. Mm -mm, that's not good. But that's just how that's just how I feel. But what do you think of the story of Trump University? Were you like, did you know anyone who had tried to uh, do it, or do you know anyone who uh, ended up falling into a one of those university scams? Put your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know. And as always, thank you for watching. I'm sure to see you next time. See you later.